Good morning, everybody, to the next lecture from Markus Röwer of Schuler Pressen. He's referring about efficient solutions to produce prismatic cell cases and lids. And you um, can ask questions over the um, question window or the chat window. Um, and we will hand the questions after the presentation to Markus Röwer at the short Q&A session um, after the presentation. Also, this um, presentation or, or this lesson um, will be uh, recorded and you will find the recording afterwards in your own dashboard um, um, under the point uh, recording. And now I give the word uh, to Markus Röwer and wish you a good presentation. Yeah, thank you, Michelle. Um, very good morning to all attendees of the virtual battery exhibition here from sunny Göppingen. Um, my name is Markus Röwer. Um, by chance, as of today, I'm a member of Schuler Group for 25 years. So I'm more than happy on this anniversary uh, to uh, discuss with you uh, our uh, solutions uh, for prismatic battery cases and ca uh, battery case slits. Um, and um, I would like to start with a short in introduction um, of our group. Um, you may uh, know Schuler from uh, metal forming machinery. Um, and this is uh, the case when you talk about Schuler, we talk about a company which is now 181 years old, which was founded 839 in Göppingen. And this is still our headquarter. And uh, when we talk about Schuler, we also talk about a, a company which is on its way where from a traditional uh, equipment supplier for metal forming machineries for, for presses um, to a solution provider uh, where um, digital um, solutions um, for metal forming systems. Um, this is um, ongoing. We are talking uh, today of a smart press shop and um, this is also some um, yeah, topics which uh, play in to uh, my uh, presentation today, uh, which I would like to introduce you later on. Yeah, uh, Schuler, we have 6,000 employees worldwide in more than 40 countries. And our main uh, customer segment is the automotive industry and its suppliers. Uh, this um, is more than, I would say, 70% of our sales. Uh, other than that, we are active for forging applications, uh, household appliances, and electronics industry, and last but not least, mints all over the world. Um, when we uh, talk about electric vehicles, uh, you can find Schuler uh, applications um, in uh, electric vehicles as of today. For sure, the body panel is uh, also an integral part of every vehicle and uh, we uh, supply systems for uh, high strength steel parts for aluminium parts also composite materials um, so all these um, lightweight uh, solutions for electric vehicles are made on uh, Schuler uh, solutions inside that we um, offer also equipment for producing motor lamination. And so the, let's say the core of uh, any uh, electric motor. And um, then we come to the heart of the electric vehicle, which is a battery where we supply um, systems to produce hard cases. When we talk about battery can manufacturing or battery case manufacturing, uh, we look at three types of battery cells, as you, as you know. Uh, we have prismatic cells, we have cylindrical cells. These two groups are what we call hard cases, and then we have pouch cells. Um, we are offering as Schuler uh, solutions uh, to product, uh, for the products of prismatic cells and cylindrical cells. Uh, we are not active for pouch cells. It's clear this is uh, the, the metal forming parts. These are these uh, cylindrical and prismatic cells. Um, today, I would like to focus on the prismatic uh, cell cases. Um, 
and uh, there are basically two ways or uh, two process routes to uh, produce such a prismatic uh, cell case. Um, one route is uh, that you start with a strip material, with a, a coil, um, and then you start to blank uh, a cookie out of this uh, a coil, and then with this blank you do draw and redraw operations and form a prismatic cell case. The other route is that you uh, start with aluminium slug. A slug is a uh, yeah, basically a piece of metal, a piece of aluminium, which is uh, then formed into a prismatic uh, container. Um, the differences uh, here are obvious. Um, in, the, in the first case, um, you use only a part of the metal strip, um, depending on the size of the uh, blank. Um, it depends if you're one out or two out um, uh, blanking out of this strip. Uh, you can achieve uh, utilization with one out maybe of 65%. That means um, you, with every ton of uh, aluminium which you uh, buy, you use only 65% for your battery cases, 35% going back to the scrap. Uh, with the second process route, which I would like uh, to focus on, the aluminium slug, you uh, use in its entirety. Um, and you see here also the difference in, in the forming with the draw, redraw operations in the, in the, uh, on, the, on the top here. You form the container in several steps uh, through draw, redraw, then you do a wall ironing operation and then you have to trim the can. Uh, with the impact extrusion uh, process, this is a process which is used to form an aluminum slug into the container. With impact extrusion process, you do it a one shot uh, to produce a prismatic case. Then you use a second operation, a, a wall ironing operation to come to the final geometry. And then you have also a trimming operation. So, um, Beside the big difference in material utilization, there is a second difference in speed. Yeah. The, as you see, the draw reader operations are relatively um, complex and uh, will, uh, will also limit the speed uh, to transfer the part from one station to the other. Whereas the, let's say, the one shot operation with impact extrusion press, uh, you can achieve higher speeds and this is a solution which is really applicable for mass production. Uh, so if you really want to produce a lot of battery cases, 20 million, 30 million per year and more, um, this is, uh, should be the process rule of your choice. Let's have a look at uh, the line um, where such a, a container is then produced. Uh, we see here a complete line. So Schuler supplies this as a as a turnkey solution from A to Z, including uh, all equipment, including tooling, including the um, uh, smart uh, solutions to control and to monitor uh, this production, and also the support and uh, full service uh, for such lines during the lifetime of uh, this production. We go through piece by piece. We start on the uh, left side. Um, the first thing is you have to lubricate the aluminum slug. So you attach uh, usually a metal soap to it in a, in a drum. Now the, the slugs are rotated in a drum uh, with this uh, lubricant. And then they are going on to the next uh, process step, which is impact extrusion press. So you see it now here marked red. This is then uh, the, the moment where the aluminum slug is formed by backward extrusion into a container. Um, yeah, so you push the slug into a die and the aluminum flows then backwards onto, onto the punch and then the punch is retracted and the slug is um, ejected to the discharge. 
this goes uh, with uh, high speeds uh, in, in comparison to the Florida solution. So we can achieve here with speeds up to 100 cans per minute. And um, it is a, not a new technology. Back, uh, backward extrusion is, uh, is quite uh, a long way uh, around. And we have supplied more than 700 impact extrusion presses uh, during the years. Um, so um, that the application to the prismatic battery case, this is done, or this was done uh, since um, three to four years, yeah, very successfully. And then we have the second step as uh, uh, described, uh, the final geometry is achieved by wall ironing. That means um, the wall thickness of the can is reduced. Uh, the can is getting a little bit longer and uh, also the whole the geometry is calibrated during this uh, process. Um, also some forming, uh, other forming operations are applied uh, so that, uh, for instance, uh, a step to um, put the lid later on is uh, formed in this operation, uh, which is uh, uh, also a uh, Schuler uh, equipment where we supply then together with uh, impact extrusion press. So also the tooling for these two operations is uh, coming out of our um, design. So it is uh, well uh, balanced between uh, these two uh, machines. Due to the anisotropy of the material, um, we have to uh, trim uh, the can. Uh, the edgy, wavy uh, part on the top. Um, this is done by a process where we uh, cut from the inside of the can to the outside. This is important uh, to um, achieve a burr which is outside of the can. So. Um, when you then insert later on um, the jelly roll, you are not um, damaging this by a, a burr, which would be inside. So uh, burr avoid on the outside position, this is important. Yeah, as we had uh, applied a lubricant to uh, the part if in, the, in the front end of the line, we have now to wash uh, the can this is in a, in a big washing machine where the cans are uh, by a spray system uh, washed uh, and then rinsed with clean water. And after that, they are going into a dryer to um, have then the final product. The final product is then inspected uh, by a camera system. So we inspect the geometry of the can and also the surface uh, of the can is inspected so that only good cans going then to the last step, the, the packaging or end of line palletizing as uh, the customer would like to have it. We have often there's also wall to wall installations where you don't have um, pallets, yeah. but there's this dependent on the requirements of the end, end customer. So this is uh, the production line. As I said, it is uh, fully integrated. That is um, one line control, um, which is controlling this. And also all the, um, the tools and dies are coming out of our house. Um, we are right now in a very um, quick uh, market um, where you have a lot of format changes, uh, new, uh, cell formats are coming up. So we have uh, the possibility um, not only um, to uh, support you with this production line, but also before that in the R&D, we can do simulation of new um, sizes, new geometries, um, where we do then also the prototyping, that means uh, sample production um, to make feasibility studies, uh, also new materials uh, can be um, tested. And then we also provide the, let's say the, the final or the production uh, dies and tooling. Coming back to our smart uh, press shop, uh, each, of our, uh, each of the machines in this line 
uh, is connected to our so-called data loft. Uh, this is a cloud service um, where the, um, uh, all the data which are collected by the, from uh, the sensors of the machine are connected to this cloud by a so-called edge device or IOT, IO, IIoT connector. So the data is uh, stored and then uh, we can also have applications to use this data. For instance, uh, for production monitoring, uh, so SCADA systems uh, to uh, monitor your production to see, okay, where are um, where are you with uh, your your line? We, but also data to uh, can, which can be used then for pre preventive maintenance. So, um, what is uh, what are the temperatures? What is the motor uh, power consumption? Um, how about lubrication? So, um, this uh, can then lead to a preventive maintenance plan. As I said, we offer also full service agreements for our lines so that uh, the maintenance can be planned on time, that you don't have to stop the line by uh, ad hoc, by uh, damage or something, but this is then um, you can uh, see coming, so to say, and a plan for a stop when it's needed. Yeah, I would like to, uh, to summarize uh, the main points. Uh, coming back to the comparison the two, uh, between the two process routes, so uh, the deep draw uh, case um, where we have speeds depending on the size of the can between 20 to 30 uh, cans per minute, whereas with the impact exclusion we can achieve higher speeds, uh, which also comes with a higher uh, cost. Um, of the equipment, but um, if you see the, the, the cost to performance ratio, you need uh, less personal, less footprint for higher output because uh, we can achieve speeds up to 100 cans per minute. So this uh, makes sense then uh, for cases where you want, would like to run really a lot of cans uh, per year uh, where for, for real mass production. Then this is uh, absolute cost efficiency because, and this is then on uh, the, uh, the second aspect, um, material utilization, this is something which is, um, yeah, your operation is really um, year after year after year, you have to uh, buy metal for your, for your line. And if you have to um, scrap, uh, 35 or 30 percent of the material you are buying, this is really not efficient. Uh, so what is sustainable here is that you use uh, the aluminium uh, to its full extent and that you have only the scrap which is um, required, that means the trim. Now, this is something you cannot avoid, but the, the, the scrap from the scrap web, this is something you can avoid. Um, yeah, so um, each uh, case needs also a lid. So we are taking care of uh, the complete package here. Um, battery lids is a different story. Um, this is, uh, let's say, uh, it's a sheet metal part. Um, you don't need a deep draw or, or impact extrusion. You have, it's, it's more or less a stamping operation. Um, the part itself uh, is not very complicated, but um, the, the lid in, uh, in the downstream process, you have to assemble a lot of single parts to, uh, to this. So the complete um, lid is containing a lot of assembly work. So where we uh, see our role here is that we help you to integrate as much as much as possible of the assembly work into the forming operation because there you can just do a such um, uh, um, yeah uh, applying of functions by metal forming very efficiently uh, whereas when you have to do it later on in the assembly process it's a little bit of a headache so one example which i can give you here is the burst valve um, where in the middle of, of the lid where you apply 
usually a foil um, to um, have a function of the, of the bursting. Uh, this is something, for instance, you can do by metal forming. Yeah? You use the, the metal which is already there, you coin it, uh, you um, make a, a certain geometry into uh, the sheet metal, and then you can achieve that this is, has the same function without a later applied foil, that the, that the metal um, is uh, popping up at a certain defined pressure, so that your lid is getting much uh, more cost efficient when you can do this with high speeds on a, on a stamping press. This is uh, basically then the same. We are offering a complete solution, including press, including uh, the dice, and also the, um, uh, the smart solution around it for, for maintenance and production monitoring. Uh, this is an example of, of this lid where we apply uh, with, with coining operations uh, the, the burst valve directly in the, in the die um, on, a, on a stamping press. Yeah, I'm coming to the end. Um, you um, will find the, the presentation also later on on our booth. We are also available via live chat uh, on our booth if you have any questions. And uh, for, you, for sure, you can also contact me uh, on marcus.rover at schulergroup.com. Uh, yeah, you find also my cell phone. And um, yeah, thank you very much uh, for your attention. <laughs>